loci associated with skin pigmentation identified in African populations. Everyone is referencing this study. Everyone. Forty researchers worked on this study. Geneticists, evolutionary biologists, chemists. And what did they find out? Genetic evidence indicates that the light pigmentation variant at SLC24A5 was introduced into East Africa by gene flow important part from non-Africans. So let's logically, let's utilize critical thinking. Let's utilize critical thinking. If light skin was introduced into East Africa by non-Africans, it must be then a non-African trait, full stop. Where is the light-skinned tribe in Africa? Where is the light-skinned tribe in Africa? It's nowhere. It is nowhere. Let me show another. Let me show another video here. Because I'm always hearing that these people are black people. And it's, it's tiresome. And I said, as I said before, sexual selection, you have to take in consideration sexual selection. The Koisan or Ko Asan were infiltrated by the Boers. So they have a huge amount of multiracial people identifying as Koisan. Many of their leaders, not currently, but those before the 80s, were black men, were African men. They're freedom fighters. Look it up. Many of you just Google um, the Koei San and then you see light skinned people and there, wow, voila, there's the answer. Many of you don't understand how the algor um, algorithms work here. They want to show you, they want to program you how to think. But we'll get back to the so called light skinned Koei San. Multiracial people, they don't even benefit from the one drop rule. The only people that benefit from the one drop rule are white people. That's the only people. And they're dark skin, multiracial people. For example, the people in the miscegenation zone known as Eritrea, Djibouti, Somalia, Ethiopia. Occam's razor, the simplest answer is the answer. Most of the people on the plant, um, on the continent of Africa have brown to black skin and African texture here. So it, it goes to reason that those are the traits of African people. And of course, natural selection is important to discuss also because many people that is African people in the continent want to excuse, well, not um, sexual selection, I apologize, but natural selection and descent with modification are important, uh, important concepts to understand. If you don't, if you don't accept these concepts, you're not going to understand biology. You can be religious per se, but you have, if you can't understand biology, if you don't understand descent with modification and natural selection, you're not going to be able to grasp it. And that's why most people in Nigeria can't understand or most African people in the United States can't understand that biracial people are not African people. They're not black people. And they keep on trying to make, you know, change the goalposts by saying, well, most black people in the United States 
have these features. Well, they're not African people. They just identify as African. They just identify. Hybrid. A individual form by mating between unlike forms, usually genetically differentiated populations or species. Hybrid zone, a region in which genetically distinct populations come into contact and produce at least some offspring of mixed ancestry. The area between Yemen and Ethiopia, Djibouti, that's a hybrid zone. For example, this is why northern Sudan, if you that's why it broke away from southern Sudan. Because they had such an influx of quote unquote Arab blood from Saudi Arabia. You gotta remember the the there were two slave trades. There was the Occidental, which was the slave trade to the West, and there was the Arab slave trade. The Arab slave trade traded in mostly African women. While the Occidental, in the early part of the Occidental slave trade, it, it dealt more so in African men. But eventually they decided to enslave both and enslave both African men and women. And ship them. I, I I didn't even want to use ship because I'm my 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 ancestors were in cargo, but they were treated like cargo. But many of you want to forget that they were shipped to North um uh, to the Occidental to Western to to the West to the United States because it was more cost efficient. Why not create? the offspring of new slaves within the United States instead of always trying to buy new. The rapid genetic evolution linked to lighter skin pigmentation. Populations of indigenous people in Southern Africa carry a gene that causes lighter skin. And scientists have now identified the rapid evolution of this gene in recent human history. The gene that causes Lighter skin pigmentation, SLC24A5, I already discussed that, was introduced from Eastern African, Eastern Africa to Southern Africa populations just 2,000 years ago. Strong positive selection caused the gene to rise in frequency among some Khoisan populations. Let me repeat that. So you can you can lay that to rest with this idiosity that this is it's not an African trait. I even would indeed my opinion is that the large amount of people that identify as Kohisan and have non African traits, they are descendants of the Boers or British. Nonetheless, U.S. Davis anthropologist Brenna Hen and colleagues have shown that a gene for lighter skin spread rapidly among people in Southern Africa. This is a rare example of intense ongoing adaptation in recent human history and is the first known example of adaptive gene flow at a pigmentation locus in humans. The findings are based on research by multiple scientists. The primary author, Ming Lin, Ming Lin conducted the research as a graduate student at Stony Brook University. So what does that say? This was, you know, this is a, this was a student, a Chinese student. Why aren't black scientists, black biologists students doing this? Because they, they don't want to seem like they're racist. Because if they had a theory like mine, I was, to be quite frank, when I was in college, they didn't want me in the science programs. They, uh, to be quite frank, I went to City College of, um, the City University of New York, went to City College. I went to two colleges at the City University of New York. 
I went to two, two science programs. And they kept on saying, oh, you're being racist. If you, if you couch, if you couch your argument in this way, because white people run the programs. White people run the programs. White people are the head of the departments. 